video I show you how to share dance. My name is Goldminger, I'm a burlesque performer and a belly dance teacher and here on my YouTube channel you will get burlesque dancing and tutorial videos for a beautiful you. Yes, and in this video I show you a little share dance choreography. I will show it to you once and then I will explain. And yes, with share dancing you have so many unlimited possibilities that it is endless what you can do in share dancing. And share dance has its origin in all those French cabaret things. <laughs> yes, so then let's start with the choreography. So this is the choreography I will teach you now and I will break it down in five parts and I will explain each of these five parts. In general, all of what we do here in this choreography is walking around the chair one time and we imagine the chair as a clock. And we walk round contrarily the clock, so against the clock. And we always start walking with the left leg. So for me, this is really my left leg. I know it looks for you as if it was my right leg, but it is my left leg. And we always start walking with this left leg. So, yes, then. I show you the very first part again and then I will explain it. Okay, so. Yes, so now let's break this down. We stand left to the chair. So now if we imagine this is as a clock, we stand here now at nine o'clock. Left to the chair, the right hand is on the back of the chair and we stand diagonally. So we look into the diagonal of the clock. And now, depending on your music, you do some grind moves here. If you want, you can watch my videos that I have on grinds here. So yes, depending on your music, grinds and then you go down. I think it looks very effective if you go down fast. Now we turn around our knees show now to this diagonal of the room. We change our hands. So the other hand is now on the back of the chair and our right hand is here on our hip. Now we come up like this, do a kick with the leg and place it onto the chair. It's the leg towards the audience. And now what we do now is leaning forward. I think this really looks fantastic and really nice. You can also add some moves here or whatever and really play with this music. Then we kick again 
step down and turn around. Yes, and everything you do here is um, adapting it to your own music. It really depends on your own music, how often you do something, how fast, etc. So really use your own music here. So the second part I show you again. So now I explain. We stand here at nine o'clock and now we go to five o'clock. So five o'clock is the left front corner of the chair. And this we do in four steps. So remember nine o'clock to five o'clock and four steps. So, and then one, two, three, Four. Then we stand in front of the left corner of the chair and we look diagonally again. And now we sit down. When you sit down, sit down on the chair, onto the chair without looking behind you. Really trust that the chair is really there. Then you straighten one leg, again the leg towards the audience. And now you go down here. And this, of course, you make it again to your own thing, depending on your own music, your own mood and everything. So if you can really use this move here, you can also do it like this. So or add some shoulder twirls or shoulder shimmies here. So really make this to your own, really work with all those moves we do here in the choreography. And then you stand up with some grinds. Part number three of the choreography, I show you. So actually this is the shortest part of the choreo. We stand at 5 o'clock and we go to 9 o'clock. And again we start with the left leg. The left leg is now our outer leg. So two steps to 9 o'clock. Now we look into this direction, put one hand onto the chair onto the back of the chair and here we do a really nice sexy pose like this. So this is really the shortest part of the choreo. Now number four, part number four I show again. Again, we stand like this and we walk in two steps behind the chair. Our left leg starts walking. So we start walking and change our hands. One, two steps behind the chair. And then we have some big hip moves here. One, two, three. Really make the movement big because you are behind the chair. If you do it small, the audience will not see it. So three and then we do a big hip circle to the back. We go down with our hands onto the chair and our upper body comes down. And then we do the whole thing to the back. So, okay, then big hip circle, hands down, upper body down. And now we come back like this. So big hip circle, hands up, upper body up. Yes, and now it's already the last part of the choreo that I show you.
Yes, so we stand here at 12 o'clock and we walk to 9 o'clock. Actually, 9 o'clock is the, the place where we have started our choreography. So again, in three steps, the left leg starts walking. One, two, three. Now again, sit down and trust that the chair is really there. So, sit down, make a nice pose here. So straight back, twist your upper body a little bit towards the audience. And then you even can lean a little bit back. Touch your leg, so it's the opposite hand, opposite leg. And then you do some nice moves here. And then you do this pose. This is our final pose. So you have your heel on your knee and your other knee, this knee here is really high. Don't sit like this, but like this. And then you can sit here or you can do whatever you like. So yes. This is our little choreo. If you like my choreo, I would be happy if you give me a thumb up. Thank you very much. And yes, I will show it again very quick. And remember, everything we do here is, yes, for making you feel happy and beautiful. So don't just only do it for the person who is watching you. Do it for your own. So really enjoy yourself, have fun, connect yourself to your beautiful body and really enjoy the beautiful body moves. And yes, so because most of the time we totally lose the connection to our body. So we are sitting in the office the whole day. We are rushing from appointment to appointment. We have so many engagements and everything we do is so automatically. So we don't even think about what we are doing and we totally lose the connection to our body. And with all these dance moves and things I teach you here on my channel, I want you to get connected to your beautiful body and to find your inner femininity, your sensuality. And yes, I want to make you feel happy with this. And if you are interested in this, then subscribe to my channel. Yes, so then let's go quick to the choreo again. I will show it to you one time again. So we start here at nine o'clock. We stand left to the chair, look diagonally. Our right hand is on the chair. And now, depending on the music, grind moves going down, changing the knees to the other diagonal, changing also, also the hands, then coming up, kick, step onto the chair, lean forward, kick again, step down and turn around. Now four steps to five o'clock. One, two, three, Four, stand diagonally, sit down, straighten one leg, go down, come up, stand up, some grinds, etc. Look straight and now in two steps to nine o'clock. One, two. Place one hand onto the back of the chair and do a really nice pose here. Now, two steps to 12 o'clock. Change hands. One, two, three big bumps. One, two, three. Now, hands down, big circle and upper body down. Hands down, big circle, upper body down, and the whole thing back. Yes, and now three steps to nine o'clock. Left leg starts. One, two, three. And now I missed one step, but it, this doesn't matter. So sit down, lean back, 
nice leg movement here and sit down, final pose. Yes, so that's all about share dancing and yes, don't think too much about it, just enjoy yourself. So if you miss one step or something, yes, then just um, keep on dancing and have fun. And yes, as there are so many uh, possibilities of how to do a share dance, just let me know in the comments if you want to see more of it. So um, yes, and I will do other share dancing videos, of course. So write down in the comments if you're interested in more share dancing videos or if you want to see something else. <laughs>